Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. On this channel, I try to inspire others to take care of their home and themselves to the best of their ability and that is the focus of the things that I post. So if you like that type of content, make sure to subscribe. Today we're doing my monthly reset routine. This is the end of July. I cannot believe that. I cannot fathom that. But we are going to get started. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. Let's start this video off by reflecting on the last month. The planner that I use for my reset routines is this beautiful planner from Dream Daily. She, the owner, is Hannah Ashton. She is a small business owner of Dream Daily <laughs> and she has great planners. I highly recommend them. I really like them. So this is my planner. We're going to look at July and July was just, you know, another busy month as it always is. So we started off, of course, with 4th of July celebrations. Then the week after that, me and my family went on a family vacation to the mountains in Georgia and Helen, Georgia area. That was really relaxing and a lot of fun. And then the past few weeks, I have just been really trekking along. I got sick, so that kind of put a damper on my motivation but i didn't have a lot of motivation to start with i've just been really struggling this month with being disciplined with having a good schedule and all of that stuff i just feel like this month was a little bit hard but we're ending on a good note so i am going to fill out this page here which is the monthly reflection page Let's talk about July. So my big goals for July were to adjust to the puppy lifestyle, which I did, work at least 35 hours a week, which I did, make extra income through surveys, which I did. So those are good. We wash the windows, clean the garbage can, clean inside the dishwasher. We got pavers for the backyard. And the rest of the things I have not done. Filling out things to buy. I still need to do updating my website. I just decided against doing this for now. And I didn't finish Iron Flame, which I'll talk about later. But that is from my July monthly goal setting. Now, as a reflection of July, I already explained my core memories of 4th of July, the trip to Georgia, and getting sick. Let's talk about this month's wins. I put finding my why because I read start with why, which I'll explain later. And it just kind of re-motivated me for YouTube again, which is really good. I'm getting out of a reading slump. I read two books this month, so that's good. Finishing projects, I've been procrastinating. There was a few little house projects I've been procrastinating since the springtime, but we finally finished those, so I'm proud of us. My improvements for next month are to keep my promises to myself. This means that if I say I'm going to do something, I need to actually do it. Hang out with friends more. My social time was very low this month. And then post for myself again, meaning for Instagram and TikTok. I've fallen off of that for sure. So for the life balance right here, I put work as a three personal as a two, wellness as a two, social as a one, finances as a two, and hobbies as a three. So not a super high month, but that is okay. We are going to plan some August goals. Hopefully that will motivate us. You understand how this works. So 
We are gonna do for August what we did for July in my last reset. So I'm gonna fill out on this page the monthly goals, big goals, mini goals, action steps, projects, and habits. So I'll explain what I'm thinking after I fill it out. goals we have for the big goals putting in hardwood floor because we were gifted some hardwood floor from a rich family that we know and we want to put it in our upstairs so I want to at least do one room of hardwood floor this month that would be great second goal posting on socials for myself again Third goal, finish Iron Flame. Isn't that ridiculous that <laughs> this is a big goal? Apparently so. I've been reading it for like two, three months, so it's time. Mini goals are go through our filer of, we just have all of our documents in there and it needs to be organized. Plan one hangout a week. Buy birthday presents, we have some August birthdays. Fill holes in the fence so that Winston doesn't keep escaping. We need to hire an exterminator because we have a bad ant problem. Find a new crate for Winston because we want one that's more permanent. And then fill out things to buy. That was from last month. My action steps are to read a chapter a night. Plan when I will film and edit for my personal socials ahead of time talk to our friend about the hardwood floors because she's going to help us and then text a friend to hang out this Saturday before about the following week. Then the projects are work projects so that's not important for you all and the habits stay the same. Drink water, read before bed, work out four to five times a week, and meal plan. So wow that was a lot. Oh, a lot of stuff. Next, we are going to fill out this August spread. What I love about the monthly spreads is there is bills to pay, appointments to make, books, movies, TV, notes, and then you can plan out weekly to do items on that side. I love that. So I am going to fill out this part and we'll talk through it. on the floor I was finishing this part of the reset so for bills those pretty much stay the same nothing extraordinary appointments all I could think of was the exterminator which I will be doing this week for books movies and TV I put Brooklyn Nine-Nine that's the show I'd like to finish it ends with us. The movie comes out this month, so I'd like to see that. Iron Flame, obviously. And Happy Place is the next book I'd like to read. Um, I have a savings goal. And then here is all of our tasks. I also put in a few things that were on my summer bucket list that I want to finish in August before I get into the fall mood. So... You'll see a few of those there, but that is the August spread. Now let's talk about the media I've consumed. I woke up my puppy on accident and he's crying, so ignore that. He's not supposed to be awake yet. But let's talk about the media that I consumed in July. First, we'll start with books. So 
I explained last month, I was in a reading slump. Iron Flame has done that to me. I just was not motivated to read anymore. So I stopped Iron Flame for a second, picked this up, Meet Me at the Lake, and I loved it. It was the perfect summary read for me. I rated it four and a half stars. I just thought it was so cute and just a good summary romance. And I love those, so I recommend this one. For my book club, we read Start With Why by Simon Sinek. This is the second time that I've read this, but I had a different perspective now reading it because when I read it the first time I was in college and I had no real business to have this fit in with, to apply this to. But now that I work for a business, my husband wants to start a business and we run our own ministry. This has just been so amazing. What a great reminder. So this is a five star read for me. The premise is that nobody buys what you do, they buy why you do it. And this can apply to so many different things, whether it's at church in your ministry or with a business or even for myself, why I post on social media and why people follow me. This applies to all of it. So it was so good for movies. I went to see Twisters. <laughs> that movie is so good. Now I'm on Twisters TikTok and I'm seeing all of these videos of Glenn Powell, of course. But that movie was great. It was fabulous. I highly recommend it. And it was just wholesome. Like there wasn't anything super inappropriate. And it was just like a great solid movie. So I recommend you have to go see Twisters. You have to do it. For music that I've mainly been consuming, mainly just Morgan Wallen. Me and Alec have been on a Morgan Wallen kick this summer. We just have loved Morgan Wallen and he's from Tennessee, so that's cool. But he is coming to our area in September, so we're gonna go see him in concert, and I'm so excited for that. But that's pretty much the music I've been listening to is Morgan Wallen. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me, because I love to do this for you, and I will see you whenever I see you next. Bye, guys.